Our Womb, Kapila Dev King. So if Kapila Dev would not have come, who would tell about the sufferings of the Ajib is suffering in the womb? So the story of Kapila Dev is there. Like I told, so Kardam Rishi God gave a woman to Kardam Rishi. Why? To teach the Jivas of this world, the glories of Sadhu Sangha, how the Jiva can have knowledge and renunciation, all these teachings. And then? Bhagavan says, those who worship me, I give three varga, even chatur varga give. Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha, but I don't give prema. Krishna keeps the prema, the wealth of prema. First, Krishna gives material things to those who are doing bhajan. Take, take. But when this person is very clever, so the person must have bhajana chaturja, expertise, expertise in the bhajan. Why bhakti is so rare? Because the bhakta must have, the devotee must have this expertise in his heart. So why bhakti is sudralabha, very, very rare. Okay, maybe you get Bhagavan, but you must have Bhajana Chaturja, like expertise in the Bhajan. So you have to uh, ah, you have to cheat the cheater. Ah, one cheat can cheat the two others. He must he more cheater than the other cheaters. So Krishna is a cheater. So he'll cheat those who are less cheater than him. He'll be able; they'll be cheated by Krishna. But there's no one che more like higher cheater than Krishna, right? Do you understand? So Krishna says, "I give bhukti mukti and I keep the wealth of prem hidden." So this is contradictory. If someone is doing bhajan, so Krishna is trying to like um, cheat the devotee with material things. So Krishna gives material things for two reasons. Why? One, samsara vritti means what? Population. Population. Yeah, so that the creation will be increased. So you get married. Why to get married? Then you have kids and the population, like the creational increase of the world. So people, so people who are reading the Pavriti Marga enjoy sense gratification, so engage them more in this. So when a person by himself he understands. So there's a shloka in the Upanishad. Pariksha loka imana means you have to try out the material things, the material world. Like you have to see by yourself, you know. You should see nicely, see by you. You have to realize. That this material world is terrible. You have to realize the material world is terrible. How terrible is the samsara? You have to, yourself you must realize this. Because if you don't realize by yourself, you'll go to material things again and again. Oh, I never got married. So when your marriage becomes a disgrace, then you're like, oh, why did I get married? I'll never get married again. Okay, already happened. So it didn't get happened is in the marriage so if you if you left one husband why get married again the person will cheat you do you think the other one will also give you happiness not possible you already have realized already 
so why are you again to jump in the fire? You have already touched the fire and you have realized already how fire burns. So why again you put your hand in the fire? Why do you need? Ah oh, no, I'll try one more time. So this is the definition of a foolish person. It's like this is a foolishness. I read you saw one time. Okay, don't do it again. Finish. Isn't it? So there's a shloka in the Upanishad. Pariksha loka imana. Like you have to see by yourself, like really see it. If this world is full of happiness or distress. There's no happiness, only distress. When you, when you see this, then why to try one more time and check again? Not proper. Do bhajan, oh my brother, whatever happened, happens. According to your Prarabdha Karma, this happens. So why again you'll try to one more time? So what I'm saying is, Kapila Deva himself, he told all these things to Mother Devahuti, his mother. How the Jivas are suffering in this world. Do you understand? If you read Kapila Deva Sambad, you'll cry even. And you think, oh my God, what I have done in my life. You see, actually, they are speaking about your own life. Look like Vyasa Dev is writing about your own life. And Sukadeva Goswami is describing you are your own life. Looks like there are no other lives, Kata. Looks like your own life. You see that your own life is in the Bhagavatam. Looks like, oh, it's written my life history here. Wow, my life history is here. My life history is here in the pages of the Bhagavatam. Wow. Just like what I'm suffering is exactly everything here is described. Because the Bhagavatam is the reality, is the reality. How the Jivas are suffering so much in this world. Kapila Dev told Mother Devahuti. How the Jivas, they are suffering so much in this world, so much. In the womb of Mother and suffering so much. So he told about renunciation. Vairagya Kata. So you heard all this Vairagya Kata and didn't have renun like it, the renunciation did not arise in you. So what then? Then? How to get Bhagavan? Satam Prasanga. By the association of sadhus, slowly, slowly, sadhana bhakti will come in your hearts, then baba bhakti, then prema bhakti. This will happen. So many people ask, okay, I know that this world is full of suffering. Still, why am... That bit means... That bit, that bit. Why the conditioned soul running towards the material things? If they know it's a very bad place, full of unhappiness. The name of this material world is Dunya. Dunya. Material world is also called Dunya. Dunya comes from the world Dukkha, like suffering. No, sorry, Dundato. Verb root Dun means suffering, Dukkha. This world is full of suffering, unhappiness. Place of unhappiness itself. So we see the unhappiness, we feel the unhappiness, we suffer all the time. But still, we are running towards the unhappiness. Why? This is the amazing qualities of Maya. It's really impressive. Because the Maya made of three modes of nature. Three modes of nature. is inspiring the Jivas to do this. Do you understand? It's inspiring the Jivas to do this. Arjuna also asked this, he told Krishna, I know what is bad and what is not bad. So who is forcefully making me do all these things? Who is forcefully making me do all these things? Arjuna asked Krishna. 
Then Bhagavan told, Kama Isha Krodha Isha. It's modes of Maya. Lust, anger, come in your heart. This Rajaguna Tamaguna, mode of passion and ignorance, stimulate your heart. So those who are intelligent, they control their mind with the Tata Siddhanta. We have so many samskar from previous lives also, so many. So the person knows that if you disturb some woman, then maybe woman will beat him. For example, it's written in the sign, don't pluck flowers here, it's written. And if you pluck the flowers, you have to pay the, the, the penalty of 1,000 rupees. So why you still pluck the flowers there if it's forbidden? You tell me. It's written, you know it. Tell me. Because Maya, this Maya of three modes of nature, is making the person do these things. So in the Gita, Bhagavan told, by lust and anger, the jivas are completely controlled by lust and anger, and these three modes of nature are making the jiva do these things. Actually, the samskara from previous lives are is pulling us. So we have two kinds of impressions: praktoniki from previous lives and Adoniki from this life. So whatever you did in previous life, this samskara you have with you now. And this samskara, this samskara is like a seed and, and from Praktoniki. There are many kinds of so, first impressions in our heart. We have many kinds of first impressions in our heart. Maya. Sometimes Maya stimulated by the, the gunas of Maya. The gunas of Maya make us do these things. So I give the example, it's written here. It's prohibited to pluck flowers. And then if you pluck the flowers, it's something very dangerous, my disciple. But the disciple is insisting, Gurudeva. Okay. So the mind is like a ghost. Mind is like a ghost. So, so the Guru told, this is very dangerous. But the disciple insisted, so the Guru gave the mantra for controlling ghosts. Because if you chant a mantra, the presiding nature of that mantra will come. So the, really the ghost came. Ghost came and the ghost told, you called to me. Why did you call me? Tell me what to do. So the ghost did quickly what the disciple told, and again was like, okay, give him more work. So the, the ghost very quickly, so the ghost has such a body, ghost has such a body. So okay, sweep here, and quite very quickly the ghost swept and said, okay, now give me one more job. Okay, cook. So in two seconds the, the ghost also cooked everything, again came back, okay, give me some job to do. Give me some work or I'll kill you. So the ghosts are like this. So this boy was so now bewildered. What to do? What to do? This ghost is always asking me like uh, so many things. Because the ghost was like, tell me quickly what to do, otherwise I'll eat you and kill you. So that person was like, the ghost was disturbing him, you know, give me something to do, give me something to do, quickly, quickly. And every, in two seconds he would quickly do whatever he was given to do. And again disturbing, troubling. Tell me something to do, otherwise I'll kill you and eat you alive. Ha, ha, ha. And the boy was like, oh my God, what to do? And he came to Gurudev and told Gurudev, really, you give me that mantra, the mantra was worked, but the ghost is disturbing me so much. Ghost came and he's troubling me a lot. What to do? He's disturbing me. And then Gurudev told, okay, do one thing. Call the ghost, then they call the ghost. Okay, what to do? Take one 25 meter of bamboo. No, but just 25 uh, hands. I don't know in meters how much. Okay, 20 meters suppose. One bamboo stick, very big. 
maybe 60 meters, I think, with the something. Like anyway, and you have to polish very nicely this bamboo. Take polish very nicely, very so it's very smooth. Then put the ghee in this bamboo stick, very long bamboo stick. Okay. So 50, 50 hands. I don't know, meters. Okay, 20 meters bamboo. Then you polish it, and then you put the ghee in this bamboo stick, very long bamboo stick. Because remember, the ghost told, okay, you call me, I will come, and you have to give me something to do, otherwise I will eat you alive. So they gave some work for the ghost to do. What? So you put this in meters, meters, how much? Okay, it's 16, 17 meters. Or maybe 20 meters. Anyway. Okay, so put this ghee in this bamboo, okay. Then you put two meters of this bamboo under, like a bury it under the ground and put this bamboo like up. Now, so this 20 meter bamboo, so polish it, put the ghee, and then tell the ghost, so put it two meters like stuck onto the ground. Okay. Now listen to me, ghost. Hey, ghost. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. I'll give you some work. Listen to me. I'll give you very nice work. Task. So, you have to do one thing. Just call, call me if I call you again. So this bamboo go up and down, up and down. You have to go up and then down. So the ghost was trying, but there was so much ghee in the bamboo. So he went five meter up and again one meter down, maybe three meters down, because of the ghee and it's like slippery. It was so slippery. So much ghee and very slippery. So the ghost could not go up. So the ghost was given only this task, go up and down in this bamboo stick. And if I need you, I will call you. Hey ghost, yes, okay, bring water. Did you get the water? Okay, okay, so again, go do that. What is the meaning? Our mind is also the same. Mind can never be empty, never fixed also. You have to give works to your mind, like some uh, task. You have to give task to your mind. For example, Harinam. So, okay, the rest of the time you read books, chant Harinam, and read. Thinking, so if you have nothing to do, go, tell your mind to do what? Just like a ghost. in this task. So in the Kapil Devahuti Samvad, we see the glories of the Sadhu Sangha. So, Shraddha means Sadhana Bhakti here. Bhava Bhakti and Prema Bhakti. So, by hearing Harikata, you cross all the levels. Shraddha, then Sadhana Bhakti, Bhava Bhakti, and I think Prema Bhakti. So, if some Bhagavan gives his wife, this wife will be favorable for the service of God. It's favorable to the service. Understand? So you put your wife in each work. Okay, cook for the deity. So this house is becomes Goloka Vrindavan, very nice. Isn't it? Time is up, huh? So God cannot be controlled by normal love, by sadharan prem. To control God, you need, uh, sorry, you need which bhakti? Braja prem bhakti you need. Two kinds of bhakti, vaidhi bhakti and raganuga bhakti. 
By Vaidhi Bhakti, you cannot completely control the Lord. Maybe a little bit, partially you can control. But by Brajaraganuga Bhakti, then Lord can be controlled. Especially Sakya, Vatsala and Madhurja. Especially Madhurya Rasa. So he is saying, Time is up. So do they? The Supreme Lord Shri Krishna who bestows salvation upon all never showed Lord Brahma, Maheshwara Shiva or even his eternal consort Lakshmi Devi with half of his body, the kindness he showed this Gopi Jashoda. This look is saying, what even Brahma could not attain, even Shiva also did not attain, even the eternal consort the Lakshmi Devi also could not attain it. But Mother Jashoda, she was able to control Gobindu. Govinda. Brahma, Shiva, Lakshmi Devi, they could not control Krishna. But Mother Jashoda, very like easily, she was able to control Krishna. So this shows the highest, this high position of this Vatsala Prem. Supreme position, very high, topmost, exalted, exalted position of what's said in love. Bhagavan Sri Krishna, the son of a gopi, Gopika Sutta, is not at all easy to attain for the Ashtanga yogis. Who identify themselves, who identify themselves with the body and who perform severe austerities. Nor is he easy to attain for self-realized jnanis who are absorbed in all-pervading non-dual knowledge. So God is easy for the devotees. The, so the devotees easily they attain to God. For the jnanis and karmis is not uh, uh, available. So this is saying. Nor is he easy to attain for self-realized genies who are absorbed in all pervading non-dual knowledge. Uh, Devarish Narada is my dear devotee. Therefore, even though these two brothers, the sons of the most wealthy demigod Kubir, had no devotion for me, still I must fulfill Shinarada's words by appearing directly before them and granting them my devotional service. So why Krishna also accepted to be bound in the grinding mortar? Krishna he knows past, present and future, everything. Krishna knows past, present and future. So Devari Shinarada, he had given a curse to the sons of Kuvira. So Bhagavan is saying, Krishna is saying, Devari Shinarada is my dear devotee. So my dear devotee is Devari Shinarada. So Narada gave curse to Nala Kuvira Manigri and at the same time he gave a blessing to them also. What is the meaning? The jivas are bound and they also they deliver. So the Varishnada is my supreme devotee. 
and two sons of Kuvira, I have to fulfill the words of that Narada gave. So Krishna was thinking, I have to deliver Nala Kuvira and Manigri. Krishna was thinking this. So I told Devarish Narada gave a curse to Nalakavir Manigriv, but then Nalakavir Manigriv held the feet of Narada and told, Oh, please, you're a great soul, we committed offense to your feet, but please forgive us. Then at that time, Narada Rishi told what? Okay, I have already cursed you, you have to be born as trees. Because <coughs> Narada was coming and then Narada was coming they were completely absorbed like intoxicated by actually they were drunk and also so proud of their own position their money and playing with some ladies in the water like naked and then seeing Narada Rishi the ladies became, became uh, embarrassed came out of the water did pranam to put clothes did pranam to Narada and left quickly but this very uh, wicked Nalakovir Manigriva, they even started to like swearing, swear Narada, like abusing, like, oh, where did you come from? Why you came here? We were here so nicely and playing so happily. And Mara? Mara? Yeah. Anyway, this, you came here and you destroyed, you interrupted us. We were here playing in the water very nicely, happy. We were enjoying here with the woman. Marasado? 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 Okay, and this sadhu came and destroyed our moment, disturbed our moment. Okay, so he, so he was he spoke very rude words with Narada, very rude. So Narada was he said, "Oh yeah, you are so absorbed, proud with your money, and you are not giving respect to Sadhu, so become a tree." So when they start to become tree. The Nalakovari Mani gave the fell to the feet of fell at the feet of Narada crying, please protect us. He said I already gave curse. I gave curse. You have to be born and take be a tree. Tree. But I'll decrease the the curse. He could send you to Russia and Siberia, be a tree in Siberia. So you wouldn't have to become a tree in Siberia. <laughs> Very cold in Siberia. How much? How cold, cold in Siberia? Minus forty. Plus one and two. Still so cold. Imagine minus. And in Siberia, how cold? She said minus forty degrees. She said. So imagine to survive in this. The person becomes just like a cut 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 like a puppet, like wood. You die. Like you dry and die. So imagine to be a tree there. The trees are also feeling cold there. So many trees they die because of the cold also. Many trees they die because of the snow. You don't know. You don't know. In Siberia, this place is so cold. Even if you, the person dies, even it's hard to dig the with the grave. With grave, with machine, they have to 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 dig the dig the grave because because the the earth is become completely like a frozen because because of the. So you have with drill machine you have to open, dig the grave because the earth is like the soil is like kind of frozen because of the cold. So even the person who dies cannot be properly buried. I came out from the train. I had my, some water in my hand. The devotees were coming. Then I kept the water somewhere. It was cold. After some time, I saw the water was frozen. The water fro froze. 
Siberia is really cold. Those who have been there, they know. Especially if you go in December, January, then you realize. Go there now? Now it's okay, yeah? November. But December, after 15 December until 15 January, you become crazy. I'm saying I was there. In Washington also, I was in Washington, America. I was sleeping during the night. Early in the morning, I could not even open my own door. Why? Because there was so snow, so much snow, then the snow completely covered. The, like 1.5 feet foot of snow. So the door was, couldn't open the door because of so much snow outside. All the lakes, everything. Three feet of ice, snow. Even the kids were playing also. Ice skating. Ice doing some things, like playing on these things, on the snow. So to become a, a tree, when I saw and I see these trees in these places, full of snow, I'm thinking. Definitely so much cold. Because at least we have this blanket and everything, jacket, but the tree, she has to tolerate the, the cold. The tree has to tolerate. By the desire of God, then some rays, sun rays is coming, and when the the ice melts, then she'll get some, the uh, tree will get some relief. Otherwise, in, the, the tree is thinking, oh, if somebody would come and take out the snow from me, if ah, oh, so, but who will do this for the tree, right? Remove the snow. So the tree, tree also has life. His tree is also suffering so much from this. So, so Gurudev, sorry. So Krishna, okay, Narada told, I will make you a tree in Siberia. He told to Nalako very many grief. But okay, you have prayed to me. So okay, not Siberia. I'll, I'll make you be born in. I'll give you birth in Braja. Where in Braja? In Nanda Gokul. Nanda Gokul. <coughs> in the courtyard of Nanda Maharaj. As the Jamalarjan twin trees. So in Dapara Yuga, Bhagavan will come and he will perform his sweet pastimes and he will deliver both of you. So Krishna was remembering these pastimes. Oh, my dear devotees. So I have to deliver to them. So Bhagavan knowingly inspired the mother of Mother Jashoda. And okay, she bound him in the mort granny mortar and then she left. Then the friends of Krishna came. So they started to push the um, grinding mortar from the back, push it, and Krishna was walking ahead. And the form of Krishna was so beautiful also in this moment. You know, Balgopal was like crawling. 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 Was crawling means walking on his crawling. knees, like crawling, right? And the grinding mortar was being dragged because of the rope and the sack is also pushing Krishna didn't alone didn't have the strength to just push the sorry to pull the granny mortar that's why the kids also the sakas were pu pushing from the back pushing pushing the granny mortar to help Krishna and Krishna crawling Krishna is Bhagavan eh? so my great devotee also so then the, the, the granny motor was stuck in the two trees. And then the granny motor was stuck in the tree. So Krishna went ahead and the granny motor was stuck in the two trees. Amazing. So they were pushing from the back and Krishna pulling from the front. But the, so the granny motor was like stuck between the two trees, okay? 
इसलिए गवर्नी मोहत्र जो स्थित दे स्तक और कृष्ण बंधे बंधे हुए बंधे हुए मानसिक इन कृष्ण उस बंद में मदद जश्न दे by her rope in Krishna manifested this past time that even though he was bound he, he went in between these three trees in which each tree fell to one side another side one tree fell to the left side another to the right side and a tremendous sound came from this and all the people from the Braja Madhajashoda Rohini all the ladies, they became so afraid. What happened? Why this sudden, you know, species sounds? It was like a real tre tremendous sound. When these two trees fell from one side to the other side also. Tremendous sound came. Everybody was frightened. And they came running to check. And they saw, what did they see? Krishna was in the middle. Prabhu, what on Facebook? Yeah. Uske pehle wo dono on Facebook, sorry. Big se jo hai, Jamla Arjun jo Krishna ke wo karke, kya parikrama karke. Tain otra tela, tain ki muda tela, muda tela. Aur Bhagwan ne unko kya kar diya? Abre otra aplikativo, sab kuna abre otra aplikativo. Kaha chalega? Kaha chalega? Kolok mein chalega. Ek ke naam hai, Madhu Kanta. So they two are delivered and they went. So Madhu Kant and Snake the Kant. So their name is Madhu Kant and Snake the Kant. Looks so beautiful. Bhagavan is so merciful. So how they were delivered? Even God being bound, He could set them free. How is it possible someone who is bound set others free? My hand is bound, your hand is bound. How can you help me out? God Maharaj also told. Pala Maharaj is saying, oh my friends, listen. Our, how our two teachers can teach us. They absorbed in karma and they are bound. This is they cannot control their own senses. They are in the darkness. They don't know what is Bhagavan, what is God, they don't know. Natevitus. A Mukta Purush can set free a conditioned soul. And this is the Shastra Siddhanta. Do you understand or not? But for Bhagavan we see that God was bound himself and he delivered Nalaku Veramani Griv. How this is possible? This is the Chinta Shakta of Bhagavan. One teaching also here. So Krishna was bound by the granny mortar, by the rope in his belly, right? 
grinding mortar. The grinding mortar was when Krishna was dragging the grinding mortar. Krishna crossed the trees and the grinding mortar was stuck in between the trees. Okay. So Krishna did not touch the trees nor the rope. Who, who touched the trees? The two sides, the two edges of the grinding mortar. Change hotspot, something? Then they delivered. So what is the meaning? So Krishna is Bhagavan. The rope, the rope is Bhakti. So this Bhakti pulls the grinding mortar. So the grinding mortar is compared to a guru. And the rope compared to Bhakti. So Bhagavan. So Bhagavan is Krishna. The rope represents Bhakti. So Bhagavan did not touch the trees. Also the rope also did not touch. But the rope did not touch the trees. The rope was in the middle. Okay. So rope was binding the belly of Krishna to the grinding mortar. So who touched the trees? The grinding mortar, which symboliz symbolizes the Guru. Interesting, no? Huh? One commentary explained, very interesting. <coughs> so the grinding mortar de touched the trees and the they delivered. Jai. Because so the relationship between Guru and Krishna is Bhakti. So the Guru means the grinding mortar touched the tree. So try to understand the example I'm giving, analogy. This is Amsik, partial example. Try to understand. So Bhagavan Guru is there. So Guru is what? The grinding mortar in this comparison. Krishna is our Bhagavan, of course. And the rope is compared to Bhakti, which is connecting Guru, which is the grinding mortar, to Krishna Bhagavan. It's relationship of Bhakti. So who touched the tree? Bhagavan did not touch the trees. Also did not also touch the rope. The grinding mortar touched the trees. The tree is the conditioned soul. Okay, the tree is the significance of conditioned soul. So, the conditioned soul cannot touch God. And so, cannot touch the rope. Who touched the conditioned soul? The Guru. So, Guru, grinding mortar. And then immediately, they delivered. What is the meaning? Bhagavan will not deliver anyone. Who will deliver you? Guru. Why are you putting your finger in your mouth? This is an offense. Because your hand will be jutta, contaminated like a baby. Bhakti is not easy, huh? Eh? You're like a kid putting your finger inside your mouth. I have to check everything. I have to see the faults. Otherwise, you think whatever you're doing is the best. You have the same hand, then you give something to Guru. Or you give, take, give your prasadam to Guru. So you put your teeth in your teeth, and then. Like everybody became Brajabhasi, yeah? What do you put in your tooth? <laughs> Don't know. So why was what was saying? 
So Grand Immortal is compared to the Guru. Two edges of the Grand Immortal compared to the Guru. Rope compared to Bhakti. Bhagavan is Krishna. So, so the Grand Immortal touched the, the tree. And in the tree, tree is delivered. Here is Aita. Here are the Yesterday the art was at 8, not 7.30.